In this poem, we're told a powerful motorcycle can accelerate from rest to 26.8 meters per second in only 3.9 seconds. A, what is its average acceleration? And B, how far does it travel in that time? So the first thing you always want to do in solving these problems is to draw what's going on, right? So we have this motorcycle and it's going to start at rest. And what that means is the initial velocity is going to be equal to zero, right? Because if something's at rest, it's not moving. So its velocity is zero, right? And it's going to travel for 3.9 seconds, right? And it's going to eventually reach a speed of 26.8 meters per second, right? So that's what's going on. And what we're trying to do is find the acceleration during this time, right? The average acceleration. And we're also trying to find how far it travels, right? So we're trying to find the change in the X, which is basically uh, how far it travels or the distance, right? And so the next thing you always want to do is write down the given. So which kinematic variables are we given? So we're given the initial velocity, v sub 0, right, which we know is equal to 0, right? We're given that. We're given the final velocity, which is the velocity at the end of this interval, right? So the final velocity is 26.8, 26.8 meters per second. Uh, we know the time, right, how long this interval is going to go on. And what we're trying to do for A is we're trying to find the average acceleration. So we'll say A equals question mark. And then for B, we're trying to find the change in position or the distance it travels, right? So this is the given. And so now what we're going to do is use the kinematic equations to solve uh, for what we want. So let's just start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the acceleration. So notice the variables we're given, and we're going to choose one of the kinematic equations to use to solve. So we have V sub 0, we have V, and we have T. So notice that equations 2, 3, and 4 all contain delta x, which we don't know right now. And if you look at equation 1, which is V equals V sub 0 plus A times T, notice that we have V. We have v sub 0 and we have t, right? So the only variable left is acceleration, so we can just go ahead and solve for it. So plugging it in, v is 26.8, which equals v sub 0, which is 0, plus the acceleration, right? So 0 plus anything is just that. So a, which is what we're solving for, then multiply by t, which is 3.9. So dividing by 3.9, that's going to give us a. So 3.9. So you do 26.8 divided by 3.9, and you're going to get a equals 6.87. Right, and then the units for acceleration are meters, since we're using meters in seconds, it's meters per second squared. So 6.87 meters per second squared, uh, this is going to be your acceleration, right? And so you can round this if you want differently, but I'm just going to leave it as this. So this is the acceleration. Now let's do B. So for B, what we're trying to find is how far it travels in that time. So instead of solving for A, we're going to be solving for delta x. So notice, I'm actually going to write this in since we know it in, or since we know it now. So 6.87 meters per second squared. And so now that we know four of the variables, you can basically choose any equation as long as it contains delta x. So the only equation we can't use is the first one, right? Because it doesn't contain, uh, contain delta x. But you can use any of the others. And the one I'm going to use is this one right here. Delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared, right? Because notice we have the velocity, right? We have the time, or the initial velocity. We have the time. Uh, we have uh, the acceleration, right, which is what we just solved for, and then time again, right? So all we got to do is plug it in. So the initial velocity is 0. 0 times t is still going to be 0, so it's just 1 half times the acceleration, which is 6.87, times t squared. So t is just 3.9, so it's 3.9 squared. So you just want to plug this in, 0.5 times 6.87, and then multiply by 3.9 squared. When you do this, you're going to get delta x equals 52.24 six and so on uh, you can just round to 52.2 or just 52 i'm just gonna go 52.2 and then it's delta x right so change in position uh, we measure distance in meters so 52.2 meters that's going to be uh, how far it travels during this time right so it's going to travel basically 52.2 meters in 3.9 seconds so this is your answer to b right so b this was a and yeah so these are going to be your answers and hopefully you found this useful